a lot, I think, about uh, you know, the AI race between the U.S. and China. And with all of the trade war tensions and even recent headlines about uh, you know, rumors out there of potentially Chinese companies being delisted on U.S. exchanges, yeah. that, you know, just heightened tensions, bottom line. What do you make of the, that race for AI between these two giants and how we can work together or what are the challenges in that? So I don't think that in the public view, AI has entered the trade spat very much. I, I think there are two separate issues. The first being the way that economic warfare has become information warfare and vice versa. So you have rumors coming out of the White House that maybe the U.S. will prevent Chinese access to U.S. capital, affecting companies like Alibaba or JD.com or New Oriental, only to have Peter Navarro at the White House come and say, no, fake news. Uh, if you watch the indices seesaw over that sort of saga, um, it's just information moving those, those needles. And so um, I think talk has as much impact as action these days. Um, there's not a lot of talk about the AI side, where we really see that battle playing out between the US and China right now is more in the private market. Um, so some of the world's biggest and most influential AI companies, many American investors haven't even heard of. Uh, Sense Time, which was incubated by the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, where I just visited, or ByteDance, which runs uh, the popular social network TikTok, was recently revealed that their content moderation guidelines in the US may in fact be a uh, fora for Chinese uh, propaganda. Um, and those are some really difficult issues when you've got companies at the leading edge of machine learning, especially for natural language processing, computer vision, and other critical national security technologies, gaining commercial footholds in the U.S. or with U.S. businesses, um, but potentially have involvement from the Chinese state.